everyone, it's Mez here, and I'm back for another episode in my Back to School series. I'm to talk to you guys about how you can live on campus for free. So usually your freshman year, you have to live on campus. Unless you're a commuter student, usually you have to pay the on-campus tuition for room and board. Now, if you really want to stay on campus, and I would suggest staying on campus because it's just so much more convenient than living off campus. So, how can you live on campus for free from your sophomore year to senior year? Well, I know a little secret. Actually, you can become an RA. So an RA is a resident assistant, and they live in the dorms for free. And all you have to do is work, I think, between 15 and 20 hours a week. But technically, depending on how large of a staff you have, you might not actually need to work that many hours. Excuse me, I'm sick today. So when I was an undergrad, my senior year of college, I was fortunate to get a position as an RA. And we had a huge staff. I think there was 13 of us. So I only had to be on duty once a month maybe or a few times out of the year so what that means is when you're on duty you're essentially sitting in the office students come to you and ask questions about anything in the dorms if there's a fire if somebody gets locked out of their room these are all things that you would address between the hours of or actually 8 p.m to 12 a.m so the time when students would be in their room you're sitting in the office and answering any of their questions or helping them with any issues that they're having. Which quite honestly is not a very difficult job and sometimes students just don't have any issues so you're sitting in the office doing your homework. Now the nice thing about being an RA is that your meal plan and your room and board is paid for. So all you have to do is work a few hours a week in an office and then you can live for free. I would definitely recommend looking into how to become an RA at your university. Usually it's through the residential life people on campus. They'll have applications out in the mid-fall and then you apply and there's an interview process and then there's a group interview and once that's all said and done they'll contact you if you've been hired. So if you're interested in living for free on campus I definitely recommend looking into how to be an RA, a resident assistant. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. 